Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Ido youths blame Buari Soludo for killings in Anambra. Ibo Hude blame Buari Soludo for killings in Anambra. So, my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Owaneze Youth Council, OIC, has lampooned the governor of a number of states, Charles Chukuma Soludo, over his new deal with President Muhammadu Buhari to maim and slaughter suspected IPOB members in his state. The Ibo Ayaka, Ho Ibo Ayaka led OIC, in a release issued on Wednesday against a recent massacre of defenseless civilian Ibo youth at Odbaru in the name of hunting criminals, frowned on the alleged insensitivity of President Muhammadu Buhari's government and dealing with issues that pertain to indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, since so they came into power in 2015. The Apex Youth Group in Igboland maintained that Buhari's approach over the agitation of Biafra by the pro Biafra group was an indication that he has signed a deal to depopulate Igbo youth in a disguised vindictive fight against insecurity in the southeast region. Oaneze lamented that same was a true picture of the damn blood of Nigel of 1967, wherein every male child of Igbo extraction was massacred at Odbeosowa Square in Asaba, Delta State Capital. The youth group also recalled the Nigerians military had launched an attack on criminal gangs on 28 June 2022 at Odbaru, an attack which regrettably claimed the lives of over 40 Hebrew youths under the pretense of killing unknown gunmen while the target was to eliminate IPOB members. According to the OIC, it is treason that Odbaru is one of the Anambra local government areas presently under the grip of syndicated criminal entities engaging in several nefarious activities, including abductions, killings, armed robberies, and ransom demands claiming to be Eastern Security Network ESN. But latest findings by Linta Society showed that the criminal entities are camped inside Big River Swamp Forest of Obene, Ochuche Umuzulokija, divided by Ulasi River. The area covers of Baru communities of Antani, Amii, Umuzu, Ochuche, Akiri Uzuzu. Osamari Umunanko and Oguna Ocha.
it further blamed the Nigerian government for grossly failing to bring to book perpetrators. As well as masterminds of the April 2021 or were a prison break and the like, which inarguably had tens of terrorist gangs free from detention. The Edo youth entered that the president Muhammad Buhari led administration had treated with a rebuff all attempt to get them prove their innocence thereby producing the footage of a weary prison break and other related evasions. I have challenged the Nigerian police and Nigerian government to order for the release of footage of Oweri prison break. Let's know how Nigerian government will exonerate itself from the criminalities that have been happening in the Southeast since January 2021. For these criminal gangs to operate in a weary prison for four hours without reprisal by security legend at state police headquarters and 32 artillery brigade. Obese, that is just 10 minutes drive away, gives us impression that over a prison break was a state crime. The organization also insisted. OYC also posited that it is unacceptable to the entire Igbo race that the rampaging military personnel at Odbaru also went into villages and broke homes at late night forcing scores to be killed and other innocent youth of the affected communities to escape through River Niger and others. Unfortunately, the search for the IPOP members is going on in Yala, where many have been commissioned to pinpoint homes of IPOP members in Anambra for elimination. Under the supervision of Governor Charles Soludo, the highest youth body added. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.